That's so Pittsburgh. Hey everybody, do we have a treat for you this morning? We're in Millville at the St. Nicholas Catholic Croatian Church and I'm joined by Anna During, who is the executive director of the organization here that's working to preserve these absolutely beautiful murals here. Anna, please tell us all about the artist, Maxavanka and everything that's been happening here. Well, first, Katie, welcome to the Maxavanka murals, a one of a kind, only in Pittsburgh treasure. Um, these murals were painted by immigrant artist Maxo Vanka in 1937 and 1941. And if you had walked in this church with Maxo Vanka in 1937, all of these walls would have been white. And so he really had a blank slate. A total of 24 weeks he painted the entire church. There are 25 murals in all. And we really like to say that these walls can talk because these murals are about telling stories and uh, representing what was happening in the world at the time. It's art, history, immigrant story, faith and community all on these all walls. All wrapped in one. Mm -hmm. This is such a true Pittsburgh historic kind of experience yeah. that you're having here. And you're working to preserve them. Tell us about yes. that. We've conserved 17 of the 25 and put lights on 12 of the 25. Right now we're working on a Save America's Treasures grant to complete the rest of the high walls and the ceiling and uh, we look forward to hopefully completing all of the restoration by 2026. Now joined by two women of the all-female conservation team here with the Vanka Murals. Anna, please tell us a little bit about this conservation process and the team that you're working with. Well, we're really multidisciplinary. We have specialists in paintings, paper, and objects here to help us with the various materials used on the ceilings. Um, we're really dealing with environmental pollutants um, for the past several decades, the windows have been open. We're just above 28, so we do get a lot of soot and grime on the surfaces of the materials. I have just a few samples of tools that we use in the cleaning process. Very sophisticated. <laughs> we start by a basic dusting because the surface is quite textured. And so there's a lot of just material resting on the, uh, the nubs and the high points, so we give it a good vacuum. And then we do a dry cleaning, which is what we use these uh, vulcanized rubber. Yeah. It's a very spongy texture. It's a very open texture, so it's really good at removing grime mm -hmm. and soot. What we've done and what we're going to continue to do is to try to uh, adhere those paint flakes with a fenori, which is actually a Japanese seaweed that has slight adherence properties. So we're using that with a heated spatula to kind of relax those paint flakes and keep them back in place. And then just similar to the way that these murals were painted with lots of scaffolding and just getting up there, that's how you are doing this work to preserve this? Yeah, thankfully I'm not afraid of heights. <laughs> and I love working up there. It's a very sophisticated scaffolding system that we're using and I'm very grateful for Wonderful. It. Well, we're grateful for all of your efforts. We thank this wonderful team here that is preserving these beautiful murals. And the theme here is to save and share Max Ivanka's gift to America, and they're doing a fabulous job. I'm gonna send it back to you guys in the studio. Very, very cool. To think that's inside, right here in no. Pittsburgh, yeah. And there are several ways to check out the murals. The church hosts private tours, public tours, and even field trips for schools. Really impressive. And for more info about this incredible restoration effort, just go to our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com.